Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous Wednesday afternoon. We have made it to Wednesday, August 6, 2014 here on this spectacularly gorgeous day in the redwoods of Felton, California in the hills above Santa Cruz and while the rest of the planet roast, I am your old doomsday tourist is kicking back in the flowers and we're getting ready to head off to have a pork chop dinner and I was just explaining to my friends here in Santa Cruz what I'm getting ready to explain to you once again and this is the reason your old eco-nazi environmental alarmist doomsday prophet eats pork chops but does not eat beef once again as I've had other rants in the past my dietary choices have been vindicated by the both mainstream science and the mainstream media now this story is out of Associated Press actually came out on July 21st got buried in my future rant file but I think this is a good a time as any and I'm simply gonna read it out loud I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna read this story out loud this mainstream media story I'm gonna put the link to it I encourage you to shut me up right now just go on to the description of this video and click on the link and read this story for yourself for anybody who does not understand the environmental destructiveness of beef uh, let this be further proof of why beef cattle are next to humans the most dangerous animal on planet earth and the headline of this story from Associated Press is beef pollutes more than pork and poultry study says I am very sorry that they did not factor in seafood into this rant so unfortunately they neglected to uh, look at the environmental ecological footprint of seafood which is my guess my educated guess is even worse than beef this is the reason I do not eat seafood or beef but do eat pork and chicken and why I am getting ready to go enjoy a pork chop dinner after my turkey lunch Okay, let's get to the story. Raising beef for the American dinner table does far more damage to the environment than producing pork, poultry, eggs, or dairy, a new study says. And I'm glad to see the dairy angle in here. It's always been my belief that beef has a much bigger environmental impact than dairy. This is why I continue to consume dairy products but not beef. It is not comparing apples to apples. Okay, compared with the other animal proteins, again not counting seafood, beef produces five times more heat trapping gases per calorie puts out six times as much water polluting nitrogen takes 11 times more water for irrigation and uses 28 times the land area and this is the number one reason I do not eat beef is the land area and then uh, any of these other animal proteins this is according to a new study published in the journal proceedings of the national academy of sciences so if you want to believe those mainstream scientists in the mainstream media as i choose to do 
Okay. Cows are not efficient at converting feed to protein for human consumption, said lead author Gaidon Eschel, an environmental physics professor at Bard College in New York. Um, let's see, so this, the scientists use U.S. government figures to calculate air and water emissions and how much water and land were used in the lifetime production of beef, pork, poultry, dairy, and eggs. While other studies have looked at the issue, and I've commented on this in other rants, this is one of the most comprehensive pieces of research at quantifying and comparing the U.S. Envir environmental costs of different meats and other animal protein. And so the way I am understanding this, this does not, does not look at the effects on tropical rainforest, particularly the Amazon rainforest. The beef production down there is not even factored in. My God, if they factored in tropical rainforest into this study, forget 28 times, it would be 2,800 times the amount of land per pound of beef compared uh, to the amount of land for a pound of pork, dairy, or poultry. Okay, and uh, needless to say, the beef industry called the study, quote, a gross oversimplification of the complex systems that make up the beef value chain. There you go. Uh, <laughs> And this, of course, that, that I love this group, the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Can, can you imagine uh, that bunch of uh, left-wing environmental activists? And, 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 and I wouldn't uh, necessarily question this, that claiming that the U.S. produces beef with the lowest greenhouse gas emissions of any country, and that very well could be true. That very well could be true, that uh, 28 times the amount of land and five times the greenhouse gas emissions in the U.S. is the lowest of any country. And, and as I say, compared to Brazil, Jesus, it probably is a fraction. Okay. In the study, pork, poultry, dairy, and eggs all had comparable environmental footprints. So close, there were no statistically significant differences among them. And as I've commented on, I wish I could remember the name of the book uh, about measuring your ecological footprint, pork and poultry and dairy are a hell of a lot closer in their environmental footprint to broccoli, green beans, and potatoes than they are to beef and, and seafood. I'm going to go ahead and throw seafood because in that book, as I commented in former rants, seafood makes beef look downright environmentally benign. So if, if, if you're one of these people thinking you're saving the planet, you don't eat beef and you do eat seafood. But anyway, that's another rant. Let's stick with the anti-beef rant. Okay. Uh, but cows were off the chart different compared. And unfortunately, as it says here, the study did not look at plants or fish. Alright, cows burp major amounts of methane, a greenhouse gas that is dozens of times more potent than carbon dioxide. And so they produce considerably more methane than pigs, chickens, or turkeys do. Uh, blah blah blah, because they are bigger and take longer to put on weight for meat, cows eat more food over their lifetime than other animals raised for protein. 
nitrogen from the fertilizer runoff can harm rivers, lakes, and bays, causing oxygen-depleted dead zones. The use of irrigation water is a major issue out west where there are droughts like the current one in California and so much land used for farming changes the biodiversity of a location. I bet it, I bet it does. And this is my old buddy Ken Caldera, an environmental scientist at the Carnegie Institution for Science. He wasn't part of the study uh, but is uh, he uh, has a similar uh, results published in an upcoming study in the journal Climatic Change. So Ken Caldera, I've mentioned this guy in my climate meltdown rants, one of these climate guys. Quote, it really looks like beef is a lot worse environmentally than these other meats. I bet it is. And so what they do is then they put four statistics on here. Uh, where you can really see they chart these things. Uh, I wish that you could, uh, you probably can't see this, guys. But anyway, the top line, these lines that go about five times as wide as all the other lines, that is the beef, for instance. Uh, on every one of these, uh, it, it, it is completely, guys, they're, they're, it, we're talking on a scale, here is land, well, as I mentioned, it's 28 times, anyway, they, 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 they graph this out, so you can see this charted out. Okay, now we're getting back to what Hambone Littletail did in the year 2008 when he pulled his head out of his ass and stopped eating beef. Okay, Eschel calculates that the average American who switches from beef to pork would reduce the equivalent of 1,200 pounds of carbon dioxide per year, which is about nine days worth of the nation's per capita greenhouse gas emissions. And the EPA calculates that this savings, just by, by every time you, you want to eat beef, you eat pork or chicken instead, uh, the EPA calculates that this would be the same as the emissions from 61 gallons of gas or burning 580 pounds of coal. <clears throat> Okay, and Caldera, in his calculations for his study, found, quote, eating one pound of beef causes more greenhouse warming than burning a gallon of gasoline. And guys, I admit that the greenhouse gas stuff was not the major reason that I stopped eating beef. It was the land use, just the amount of land. And here in the U.S., what they're not saying in here is the amount of public lands, our public lands being sold off to these millionaire welfare ranchers such as Clive and Bundy that uh, you don't see uh, when I am hiking around through all these beautiful hikes through the Sierras and the National Forest, I do not see pigs and chickens and turkeys running around destroying our public lands. They, well, you, you do see sheep, and I guess they didn't really look at sheep in here, they should have, but in the main, by far, by far, I would say 95% of the destruction of our public lands uh, being subsidized to these multi-millionaire beef ranchers are from beef cattle. Okay, the message from the study is, quote, wherever, whenever possible, try to replace beef with other sources of protein from animal sources, says Eschel, who says he does not eat meat now, but he used to raise cattle. Um, so then they talked to some nutrition scientist who, at Cornell who said it makes sense to them. Um, let's see, so Caldera 
you know, looking more at the at the climate impacts, found that livestock accounted for nine percent of the world's total greenhouse gases, and their overall output has increased fifty one percent since nineteen sixty one. Uh, he found that the developed world, including the U.S., uh, has actually decreased its carbon emissions uh, by 23%, but the developing world has more than doubled its emissions, and you better believe that continues to skyrocket. So overall greenhouse gases on the planet rose by more than 50%. And countries like the United States are importing beef from those developing countries, potentially skewing the U.S. results. And I'm quite sure that is true. But uh, it, is, it is China. It, it is the beef consumption in China that, my guess, in the next 20 years, that China will completely leave U.S. beef consumption in the dust and uh, China will probably, I'm guessing, account for easily 50% of the beef uh, consumption on this planet. So anyway, I hope for the few people on uh, the planet who care to understand this, that this helps. And with that, I have made myself hungry with all this ranting so I'm going to get up out of this chair and leave these beautiful flowers and go enjoy a pork chop dinner with my friends, and, and I will sleep well tonight. Bye, guys.